Okay, Junior Roberts here with realjuniorroberts.com. This is question two of the January 2016 past paper question. This is question two. I've done question one in an earlier video. I will post a link in the description and also in the comment section so you can go ahead and check out that video. If you want to get access to future videos, please ensure that you have subscribed and hit the bell notification so you will get access to my videos as soon as they become available. Okay, so let's go right into this question. Okay, so the question says, complete the graphic below by drawing an arrow from each physical quantity to its respective unit. So we're gonna just go ahead and uh, do that right now. So the first physical quantity is density. And we know that density, we know that density is equal to mass divided by volume. SI unit for mass is kilogram. SI unit for volume is meters cubed. So therefore our answer is this one right here. So we're gonna just draw an arrow. Alright. So the SI unit for density is kilograms per meter cube <coughs> all right and then for moment which is the turning effect which is simply the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance means then that our unit is the newton meter all right and then left us with linear momentum which is mass times acceleration so our unit would be the newton second right an alternate unit for linear momentum is kilogram meters per second right if you want to see um, how we get from kilogram meters per second to newton seconds post it below in comments and i'll do a video uh, explaining okay so in this segment so in this section we're asked to define a few terms. So the first term they want us to define is kinetic energy. So we can write that kinetic energy, this is the energy a body has due to its motion right so kinetic energy is the energy our body has due to its motion next thing we're going to look at is potential energy so we're going to say that this is our body has due to its state right either it is raised at a certain height or it is under some amount of tension or compression all right so now they want us to write the formula for the change in momentum change in gravitational potential energy and that formula is given as ep is equal to m g h where ep is our change in potential energy m is our mass g is a gravitational field strength and h is our height <coughs> now this one says waterfalls are commonly found across the caribbean describe the energy changes taking place in a waterfall so if we have a sketch of a waterfall let us say this is our cliff all right and we have our waterfall right going off the cliff like that all right so at the top here right we will have potential energy right and as the water begins to fall we will have right here kinetic energy right so at the top of the cliff, cliff we will have maximum potential energy and at the bottom here we will have max kinetic energy so what we have is a transfer or a change of 
potential energy into kinetic energy. And if we go further to the question, the question says, a pendulum swings from A to B to C and returns to A as seen in figure 1. Right? A and C are the furthest points and B being the midpoint. State the type of energy that exists and they want us to specify the different positions. So at A, we will have gravitational potential energy. Right at B, we will have kinetic energy. And at C, we will have also gravitational potential energy. <coughs> Alright, so now they say another point. Another point D is situated midway between A and B. If the pendulum is returning to A to complete an oscillation, explain what type of energy is increasing and why. Alright, so let's take a closer look at the diagram. So we have our object, we'll have potential energy right here, it will have kinetic energy right here, and then it will have potential energy right here. So they say that object is moving from B to A. Alright, object is moving from it's returning to A. So it means that it means it's moving from B to A. Right? And they want us to know what type of energy will be at this point. So at this point, since the object or since the pendulum bob is changing its height, right, as it goes back to A, we will have a change in height which will result in a change in gravitational potential energy. So we're gonna say gravitational potential energy. Right? And the reason for this, as I mentioned before, is the fact that the height, the height of the object is increasing. <coughs> right? <coughs> now, final question says that netball is a popular sport played across the Caribbean. If a netball has a mass of 0.4 kg and a velocity of 5 meters per second, calculate the kinetic energy. So the formula for kinetic energy, energy is equal to half m times v squared. Right, so we can say that Ke is equal to one half of the mass, which is 0.4 kg multiplied by the velocity which is 5 meters per second and that will be squared All right so we'll have a half times 0 0.4 times 5 squared is 25 meters squared per second squared All right then now what we'll have is 0 0.4 times 25 meters per meter squared per second squared divided by 2. <coughs> and if we pull on our calculator and we say 0 0.4 times 25 right it will be equal to 10 and divide that by 2 and then we'll get our energy of 5 joules. Alright, so that will be it for this question. This was question 2 of the January 2016 C6 paper. If you haven't seen question 1, I'd, I'll post a link below in the comments. Thank you for watching.